Good morning, day 10. So, I'm at mile 135.5, I think, something like that. Man, those long water carries with like six liters of water really suck. My feet were throbbing by the end of yesterday. I pretty much got back here, made some food, and just passed right out. Uh, so, I'm moving a bit slow this morning. I still got up at like 2.30 or so, but it's already five, almost 5.30, and I'm just now like all packed up and ready to go. Um, I have hardly any water left, and water's sketchy for like the next 25 miles or so. So I'm just going to load up on water again as much as I can. The one good thing is, though, is it's supposed to be like 75 degrees today where I'm at. I'm getting really spotty, like, uh, internet connection and cell phone service, so it'll work for like two, three minutes, just long enough to check something, and then it turns off, and then I try it again, and it, yeah. So, uh, hopefully today I should be able to find enough water. I'm not looking forward to having to carry it all day long, but at least it's going to be cooler. And I need to put back some miles. So let's do this thing. I've been walking this whole time uh, debating on... So here we are, Highway 74 and 14.7 miles, Tule Spring, quarter mile down this way, so let's go see what type of water we have here. Um, I've been debating this whole time exactly how I'm going to handle this today. Uh, carrying 6 liters of water for 20 miles plus my other gear freaking kills my feet. Everything else I think is just fine for the most part. My shoulders start to hurt after a while, but they're starting to get used to things. My legs are fine. It's my feet. So I think what I'm going to do today is just roll the old dice here and play it uh, fast and light. So I'm going to come down here and try to get as much water as I can. Well, I'm going to drink as much water as I can. Probably do my dishes real quick so that way I don't have to have water for that. And uh, probably only carry about two liters with me. Because there's uh, six miles to that water cache. And if there's water there, um, then I can get another load up my two liters there after whatever I've drank on the way. And then because it's supposed to be cooler here, I think it's another four or five miles to the uh, next supposed water tank that I might be able to use. So, I think light and fast is gonna be the way to go today. Cause I could try to drag it out and make less miles, but I'd end up having to carry more water and use more water because I'm going slower and end up having to sleep out here before I get to my next actual good place to find water. So, I don't know. Back and forth, back and forth. But I think light and fast is going to be the way I'm going to go today. And it'll save me from injury, I think, as well. Because that's the last thing we want to happen. So, now I'm going to go ahead and make my way down to this Thule Spring. And see what's going on. So, here is Thule Spring. Yeah. Um, I don't think I'll be drinking that. I don't know what this orange algae stuff is growing in here. The water itself looks pretty clear, but there's just so much of that algae. So, oh, I don't think I'm going to be drinking that. Good thing too, because it's a hell of a climb out of here. <laughs> Let's make it to the next water cache, I guess. Six point more, one more miles. Climbed up onto this big water tank. Yeah, there's rocks in there, and they're sitting on the bottom. Ain't getting in none of that. All right. I'm gonna bust my butt back down this thing. 
Oh, got one liter, six miles. Good thing it's not going to be so hot today. Hopefully, fingers crossed, somebody's got to find my beach ball. Here's an unusual water catch out here in the middle of nowhere. Looks like it catches water in the surface area all around here. That water catch is good. Let's keep moving. Okay, so the water cache by the road was good. There's lots of water there. I've used about a gallon so far. Um, just had another cup of coffee for today. I'm filling up my two liters. There's supposed to be another water tank in like two, almost three miles. Um, so I am going to go ahead and pack all this stuff up and get ready to head down there. I'm only going to take two liters with me. Um, it's like 10 more miles to the next for sure water source. So I'm not sure if I'm going to make it that far today. If not, I'll be there first thing in the morning. So it shouldn't be that big a deal. If I can, I'm going to go ahead and fill up uh, another couple of liters probably at that tank if there's any water there. So that is the plan for right now. Just got done with my lunch. Just time to hit the road, I think. Get all this stuff packed up. As you can probably hear, uh, there's a really nice strong breeze out here today, which is awesome because it feels great. It's nice cool air blowing in from the valley down here. Just the exposure a little bit. But yeah, so... That's awesome. That feels great. Uh, I'm a couple miles from that water cache now. I'm feeling pretty good. Uh, from the water cache at about 8.8 .8 miles, there was uh, a cafe about a mile off the road. Depending on how I feel and whatnot, um, I may stop. The may or may not stop there. I'm not sure. So right now, I'm just gonna keep trying to get miles back. I feel this constant pressure to put more and more miles back, but I don't want to hurt myself, so I'm going to try to take it easy. It's this constant battle inside my head. So, yeah, that breeze is awesome today, and it obviously it's much cooler. But, uh, yeah, so I'll catch you guys here in just a little bit. Okay, so made it to Brooklyn Ferry. Looks like some sort of little park or something. So, that's pretty cool. Uh, the water tank supposed to be right down here somewhere. Looks like there's a cool little hiker box. Oh, let's see. All nice little picnic tables. Take a little rest underneath that tree. Okay, well, there's the water tank. Let's see if there's any water in it. Okay, so this is the Brooklyn Park, Brooklyn Ferry Park. she does all this on her own and hand fills that big big tank down there so thank you Mary that was awesome and thank you for the water that was really cool because there's long stretches out here so yeah uh, it's time to hit the road though let's put back some more miles before the day's over Thank you. 
about two and a half miles from uh, where I'm hoping to camp tonight. That'll put us around 30 miles out of Ida Wild. So tomorrow, uh, I'm gonna try to put back as many as possible. I should be about as light as I've ever been. Um, there's lots of water along the trail tomorrow too. So I won't have to carry a whole bunch and I can actually make some miles, which will be really nice. <laughs> but yeah, so far so good. Feet are finally starting to break in, I think. I'm not waddling like I was, but I'm also not carrying like six liters of water. So a lot of it's just learning and that's what I'm gonna keep doing. Day 10 is all about reflection, baby. So I'll get back to you as soon as I get up there somewhere, I think, for camp. Okay, just got another little bit of trail magic here. Uh, thing. Let me set this bag down. Somebody left a little bag of stuff on the other side of the road over here. It's got shampoo and all sorts of stuff in it. So, there's some fruit roll-ups, a couple of uh, easy to make mac and cheese, and an apple. And that's what I grabbed, and it's going to be awesome. Uh, I'm less than a mile from camp, so I'm going to go ahead and make it over there and get set up. So there I am, walking along, loving the crap out of this apple, thinking things couldn't get any better. And... Boom, I've got water cash. Really close to camp. That is beyond awesome. Whoever is doing this stuff off Highway 78, you're freaking awesome. So, I'm gonna eat my apple, I'm gonna drink some water, I'm gonna fill up my water stuff. And I'm gonna eat like a freaking cake at that. It's gonna be good. This apple is so good right now. I'm just about ready to leave the uh, water cache I just found right here. But this sign is saying that there's some sort of rock slide up by mile 172. Was it? Yeah, 172.5. Some people say it's impassable. Others don't. Guess which end of that I fall. <laughs> 